Hello and welcome to BEILAB. In this video, we will learn together how to add shapefiles into the QGIS and how to work with its elements such as a tribute table. Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed already, now is an ideal moment to click on the subscribe button. This way, you'll stay informed about everything related to geospatial science. So let's get started. In the first step, launch the QGIS software and you'll encounter a blank canvas prepared for your cartographic activities. To open a shapefile in QGIS, click on the Open Data Source Manager button situated in the upper left corner of the screen. Subsequently, a new window will emerge. Here, go to the Vector tab and within the Source Type section, select the File option. Subsequently, click on the highlighted section to locate the shapefile on your system. Select the file you want to showcase on your system. In this instance, we are using a subset of the New York Building shapefile. Now, you'll see the initial dialog box with the file path prefilled. To complete the process, click on the Add button to incorporate this shapefile into QGIS. Now, the building shapefile is visible in QGIS. Additionally, you'll observe the chosen map item in the Layers panel, presenting its features on the main map canvas. We've clarified that there's a more straightforward method to add a shapefile to QGIS. You can achieve this by simply dragging the file with the .shp format directly onto the QGIS interface. Now that we learned how to open shapefiles in QGIS, we open two other shapefiles named Subbuildings and Map. The order of shapefiles in your layers list determines the drawing sequence on the map. The layer at the bottom is drawn first, while the top layer is drawn last. If the current layer sequence seems illogical, it might obscure specific features. To address this, click and drag a layer within the layers list to rearrange its position. To show or hide the layer, simply toggle the checkbox as illustrated in the video. To conceal it, Click on the checkbox again to deactivate it. Moreover, if you want to remove any shapefiles, right click on the map in the layer panel and choose the Remove Layer option. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of QGIS fundamentals. If you found this content helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more geospatial science content. Feel free to leave any questions or comments below, and we look forward to having you with us in future tutorials.